And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. We got part two of our mid-range frostbite deck. So far, so good. Five and zero. Oh. Um, we're gonna try not to, you know, do the reverse now. Remember yesterday with the poros, we went four one, then one four. Uh, did the did the reverse. We're gonna try not to do that. But so far, so good. Deck is looking great. Um, somebody asked me. Uh, just a little bit ago, what's a deck that I'm not looking forward to playing when I'm playing mid-range Frostbite? And that would be the real fast aggro decks. They can go underneath, especially like Discard Burn. It can just be too fast and go wide and everything for this deck. So that's that's the kind of decks that I don't want to face are your fast burn decks. Um, a lot of Nexus damage, like maybe like your Bilgewater Noxus burn, like your Misfortune Gangplank burn with a lot of Nexus damage because we can't stop Nexus damage, and it takes us a little while to kill him. So I think that like that Bilgewater Noxus deck is a rough one. So, um, yeah, uh, that's. Uh, but besides that, like you know, we, we've been doing good so far. So let's go back to it. We're gonna keep playing, keep practicing for our seasonal tournament tomorrow. Of course, as y'all know, we're gonna have Tarek Draven and Poros Give It All be two of our decks, and this is going to be our third deck, probably the deck that our opponents are gonna ban more often than not, but. Hopefully not, because I really enjoy playing it. Yeah, Swain, Swain Dragon's Rage is a good combo. I have a I have a Swain Dragon Rage deck. If you, Grim, did you want a Swain Dragon Rage deck? I have one of those. <laughs> yeah, Hoosier. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, Hawkeye passed away, and I I had two dogs before, but now the dogs just get like free free range of the house and everything. So yeah, now now we got dogs. Tourney tomorrow is going to be all right. Let's first. Sorry about that. Okay, so, uh, yeah, sorry, the dogs are just going crazy. Um, basically, the... I kept, okay, so I kept Avros and Trapper, Babylon Bjerg, Avros and Hearthguard. I think these are all cards that are good um, against the card go hard, right? Like they're they're cards that don't have one health, like these things do. And um, you know, like the Babylon Bjerg's card advantage, the Trapper puts a one one, or sorry, a one mana five five on top of our deck. The Hearthguard buffs everything up. So I like uh, those cards uh, for this matchup. So it's a little bit slower. Didn't have anything turn one, turn two. But yeah, I liked how we matched up against Go Hard specifically. Our strength is yours. Uh, yes, it is. R wrist. Um. I'm always up for a round or two. Something for all. Yeah, the, the tournament starts at starts at, starts at 3 p.m. Eastern. Suppose you want in on this. Oh, I suppose I should leave you. Again. Carved from the savage cold. Santuani's pretty good. Born for conquest. Hot on the trail. You gotta believe me. I will trade it. Run while you can. We'll trade that right there. I don't, like, I think Vengeance is a very real possibility. I don't want them to Vengeance my, like, if I just have Sejuani challenge Twist of Fate, they just Vengeance Sejuani, right? Like, that's that's their plan. So this way, they do Vengeance the Sejuani, but we still get to kill the Twist of Fate with that challenge. And I didn't want to use the one health to challenge um, just in case of, like, a Vile Feast. I don't think they would have that, but just in case they'd have that or Unspeakable Horror. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. Okay, welcome back, Nashor. These stories were true. Hey, German potato. I 
guess it's not. Uh. A chill in the air. So I want to cast Reckoning. But, you know, like, we're. It kills our Trapper and our um, Ice Veil Archer. But, like, getting rid of all of those. I will just attack for 11. Yeah, 5 0 so far today. So far, so good. Um, so, you know, I'm going with Hearthguard first because I like getting that card down as early as possible. The one problem with that is that does mean the Babbling Bjerg would draw things that originally had a 3 power in the deck. So, you know, you're looking at like Ice Veil Archer could be drawn from Babbling Bjerg, which I don't really want. My best possible draw here is the Tractarian Assessor. That's what I want to hit. Up there in the mountains. Oh, not Tractarian Glory Seeker. So close. <laughs> Wrong Tractarian. That card's scary. Yeah, I just don't have any room for Flash Freeze. I just love Brittle Steel, and I want to play all the Brittle Steels, and, you know, we're playing a couple of Harsh Winds, and so we just don't end up having any room for Flash Freeze, honestly. That was number three. Okay, they just have it. All right. Got a loss. We were 3-0 against Gohard with Tarek Draven. 2-1 against Gohard with Poro's Give It All. So 5-1 total with Tarek Draven and uh, Poro's Give It All. And now 1-1 one one with Midrange Frostbite against that. This is a deck I don't like facing at all. Anivia. This deck's really difficult to, to defeat. Yeah, I really don't... We're talking about decks I don't want to face. This is probably number one on the, you know, like this and just the discard aggro, discard burn. I would, I'd rather face feel the rush. The trap is set. Can see the Nabastian border from here. Yeah, I, I hate facing that card. That frozen sentry is so good. Yep, this I'm banning this 100 every single time, so <laughs> I don't have to don't have to worry about this in the tournament. I'm always going to be banning this deck. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Yeah, I think Field of Rush is too powerful. Also, I I believe it's unbalanced as well. Okay, so I have Troll Chant to protect against um, uh, Grasp the Undying. Yeah, this is Spooky Anivia. Yep, Zombie Anivia. Ready the torches. Alert the villain. Assessor draws two cards right now. Forever watch. Hmm. It's afraid of that. Which 
course, that means I don't get to play Assessor right away. to call themselves Trifarian. Yes, you can, German Potato. Yep. We each died, then found home. Not and ready. Hot on the trail. Face me. Yeah, so yeah, when you have 10,000 channel points, just do the donation deck. You can request a deck, you can give me the code or a deck that you want me to build or a deck that you want me to play, you know, anything like that. And um, tell me, you know, just let me know what day. You know, you can tell me which day and which time slot to play it, first, second, third, or fourth. You can do all that kind of stuff. Um, Return to us. And rekindle anew. So next turn, we turn nine. So these will not be enlightened. So I'm considering culling striking the Anivia. Yeah, I think so. These won't be en enlightened. I don't think they're gonna have two mana to kill my Ash immediately. Only the finest serve. All right, so none of their stuff's going to be able to block. So do we kill them through... Let's see, if they have Withering Whale... Yeah, 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 they're dead. My aim is true. Like, Withering Whale, Grasp, even Harsh Winds. They're dead. They have, they have Harsh Winds plus Unspeakable Horror. They're still dead by by exact lethal. There we go. The war is over. Now we rebuild. Okay, six and one. Fearsome. Brittle Steel is an all-star in this matchup. Definitely want Brittle Steel. Oh, Harsh Winds is a little slow. Same with Hearth Guard. Let's try to get some cheaper stuff. Mm, not my favorite hand. <laughs> Omen Hawk. I need you just a little bit to go. I need just a moment. Let's see if they play something for me to Ice Fill Archer. So let's see, if I pass also, next turn, turn four, I can go Ash. Turn five, we'd have eight mana, so I could play Glory Seeker and Reckoning. I don't like that. A chill in the air. Just have every one of those. Victory requires a sharp blade. Wow. There's so many of those. So that thing's an easy block. It's just whether I want to take out the mist. If it's a fight they want. Mist Wraith and take two extra damage. No, we probably shouldn't take the two extra damage. Arrow. 
feel like I haven't sequenced this the best. I feel like I didn't. Guide our allies, my friend. So I attack, it looks like they they've played one Risen Miss. Um, but this is kind of telling me like they're gonna like play Risen Miss, get surprise block on Ash. So that's what I'm thinking. Love the Brittle Seal draw. Love that draw. Oh man, that card is great against Reckoning. We fight for one frail yard. No backing down. So this is me going to eight. And then I'm losing a bunch of things. They have played it very well. For glory. Face me. Okay, not Risen Miss. I would with me drawing like the new Ash, I probably would have let them Risen Miss and block my Ash. Um and then played this brand new one. Probably. So I hope not another Frenzied Skitter. Frenzied Skitter was rough. I need one more mana for Harsh Winds plus Reckoning. Oh, okay, these are just four twos anyway. Oh, but that's right, they're putting the Frenzied Skitter back. Uh, okay, let's see. If I if I play this, I'm one mana short from going Trapper and then Harsh Winds and Flash Freeze. Oh, man. Gosh, Frenzied Skitter just killed me. Yeah, they, they played this really well. I think I was too timid the first couple of turns. So what can I do? I can basically take out three things, four things. So yeah, I can, I can stay alive. Unless, you know, like if, they, if they have another Pale Cascade, I die, of course. But besides that, I can stay alive. Alright, so I Harsh Winds. Okay, so this this Callista is going to level up. Let's block that. That's just going to level up. And then I block this. And then go Harsh Winds, Harsh Winds. I guess it doesn't have to level up, but... Let's try this. Okay, so yeah, so Pill Cascade doesn't kill me. Could have killed the Wraith Caller, but then Pill Cascade would kill me. If I would have, you know, blocked and like. Tried to frost flash freeze the. Uh, All the world on one arrow. If I tried to flash freeze the Callista. I mean, if that's atrocity, I lose. Okay, not atrocity. Yeah, I couldn't stop atrocity. All right, good close game there. The they played the well. Um, I think it's a good showing from our deck to be able to handle all that stuff they had. Draven Ezreal. This will be a good test, because this is not a deck I'm planning on banning. 
So this is definitely a deck that we may end up facing. And we'll see. I think I think this is one where I would rather have, you know, my uh, Avaros and Sentry and uh, Captain Farron. I think those would be more impactful than Rhymefang Wolf. Will be. So I'm going to mulligan these. I think these those two cards die pretty easily. So I want to mulligan them. I'll keep the Brittle Steel to fight Draven, but I don't know. Maybe I should have mulliganed that card also. Yeah, you're probably right, Potato. People are probably going to be banning this deck. Victory requires a sharp blade. Fortunately, I have nothing else to play. This is a matchup where Avaros and Trapper would have been a good one to see. All the world on one arrow. Now, this is why I mulligan to Glory Seeker to begin with. that but we got to back up I got ways to find in mushrooms uh, I don't like I think that the harrowing Anivia deck is better than the harrowing ash deck I haven't uh, we played the harrowing ash deck the other day and it wasn't very impressive stand and defend yeah, opponent's playing Draven Ezreal. And so we got to worry about our Nexus total with uh, Ezreal you know, being elusive and them having a bunch of burn spells. That is something we need to worry about. Sejuani is my best play here, so I guess I'm going to play Sejuani. You own what you take. I don't have a good answer for Ezreal, though. Well Our banner will lead the way. Yeah, Static Shock's pretty common in this deck because it's it's really common with Ezreal because it's two two targets for Ezreal. Get it. Hopefully the Enraged Yeti is the top card. I really want to draw Enraged Yeti next turn to go with this Trifarian Assessor. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Faster than my arrow? I think not. So not ideal. But I don't want them to get that mystic shot. Hmm. That's too bad. So this is cool. I got Rhymefang Wolf and Ash. Don't get to block with that Doom Beast. You can block with a little 1 1. I, I'm expecting they're going to have a spell that will kill my Rhymefang Wolf, but we're going to force them to have that. I 
Yeah, now, worst case scenario is they have another Ravenous Flock to kill Ash. Cool. Don't have that, at least not yet. That enraged Yeti that would have been nice to have before. Charge. All right, just playing this to draw a card. Very likely the Ezreal burns us out. Uh, yeah, it's looking like that Ezreal's gonna burn us out. I guess this is worse than even, you know, even worse than having Ravis block. What did we catch? GG's. That's what I talked about. Our, our weaknesses is nexus damage, is direct nexus damage, and so Ezreal can and do stuff like this. We did not draw any culling strikes. Still same game, and it's still very fun. This is gonna be interesting. So they look like a, you know, like a Targon, a Legion stack, but with Karma. So playing an, an awesome late game is what it looks like. So like Triferian Assessor seems like a really important card to have, but I want our setup first before it. Mm, not very happy with these last two hands. I, we do have we have Trapper this time though. Th this is better than last hand, I guess. Yeah, we have Trapper, Culling Strike. All right, this hand's not bad. Yeah, we're we're good. Yeah, it does look like a very greedy invoke deck. That's what it looks like. Or you can get uh, double double invoke cards. With Karma in play, you can have, like, double Living Legends. Okay, I don't know if double Living Legends does anything. All the world on one I don't think arrow. it does. The mountain knows me. I am the Traveler. I am the Traveler. Is this what you seek? Back, heretic. Every card they have just replaces itself. Right? Like, they've, they've played zero cards so far. Solari Priestess replaces itself. Trappler replaces itself. Hell Cascade replaces itself. That's the thing about Targon. Every, every card, you just play it, it just gives you another card. Hmm. I guess that one technically doesn't replace itself. But close enough. So Sejuani or Archer plus Glory Seeker? I think Archer plus Glory Seeker. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. A true Felyorian welcome. It's three. With them having the multiple three threes, I can't have them stop. Like, if I attack with Ash, they're going to be able to kill Ash. I guess? Not necessarily. I could go... Yeah, they're, they're just going to kill Ash. So maybe I don't attack with Ash? Yeah, so I, I could pull the Traveler, and that gives them a good block with the. But then, but then if I pull the if I pull the Traveler over here to Glory Seeker, then they don't get to kill Ash here. But then their Warrior gets to go back and, and challenge Ash, so it doesn't really work. 
reconsider. The guilty were banned. No I think like how we're we're going wide being aggressive. I think I think I just have to let Ash die. I think it's better to do this. They're at 14 and I'm left with these four things and they are left with nothing right now. Cuz Ash still dies, you know, like their next turn. Like I if I pull the 3-1, my glory seeker dies. Their O5 can, you know, just like save them three life, and then their O5, or you know, then then that five five challenges Ash right afterwards. Just gonna try to dominate the board. The War Mother will unite us all. It was... Okay, uh, let's see. So this would draw three. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Well, good cards, but the not cards I can play this turn. Sun. Sunlight blind. I think I may be playing Reckoning here, so I'm not, not playing the other Trapper out. Plus, I, I only have room for, like, two other things anyway. Don't really need to play the other Trapper. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Because Reckoning's probably going to get denied. Um, so maybe that's not worth it. Letting it get denied. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Only the finest serve. Okay, so we drew five. These aren't. So basically, I I'm, I have ten cards in hand. So if I pass, my top card gets burned. So I guess I'm gonna cast this troll chant. So I don't really want that to happen. Because if we if we find a frost, you know, like I want all the frostbite spells I can have. Okay. All right, so I guess I just harsh winds. They could still like pale cascade and block. Maybe I just attack out. Attacking levels up Ash, they get one blocker. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, it's still like. Still a lot of damage. I will protect you. Cause yeah, even if they go to twenty, this, this is nineteen. So I guess this with Pale Cascade, I'm only doing 18, and this is 19. I guess they stay alive with that. But all their stuff dies. Hmm, stuff doesn't really necessarily die. Okay, that puts them to... Some to 18. Puts them down to one, so yeah, they stay alive. Well, this, so this enraged yeti is just gonna. I have ten cards in hand, so it's, it's just gonna get destroyed. So that's just vengeance. I guess if I would have cast harsh winds, then this Leona wouldn't have blocked. Light. Our 
strength is yours. Hmm. So that was daybreak. Okay. All right, eight and two. Karma does a good job of surviving and survived an extra turn. But... All right, so a three and two. <clears throat> um, this time, you know, it's not as good as the the five zero, oh, but um, you know, deck still looking really good. Did lose to the Draven Ezreal, which I, I think that normally we could do okay, but but uh, direct Nexus damage is going to be something that we're going to struggle with. And, uh, you know, we couldn't find a culling strike or a reckoning for that matter. Either one of those that could take down the Ezreal. And we had a, we had a real bad start. First three turns, the only card for me to play was Trifarian Glory Seeker. And so I had to just throw that out there and that just got eaten up by Static Shocks. So we had a real, real slow start, real bad start. And then, uh, they, they came through with like the Ezreal with all those spells and everything. Um, uh, the Gohard, Gohard one. Uh, I was pretty confident that we were going to be winning that one, but, um, you know, they just had pack your bag. You know, pack your bags can just flip games, and I thought that we were going to be winning, and uh, pack your bags finished me off with that one. So, um, you know, a couple, couple of losses there. Um, that happens. You know, we're not going to win 100% of the time. But, yeah, real happy with our mid-range Frostbite deck. 8-2. So um, yeah, looking real good. Um, yes, Tavern Keeper can help against Burn, but... The problem is I don't really want Tavern Keeper anywhere else, and it doesn't really fit that. Like, I, it's worse than Trapper. I think it's worse than, you know, you'd have to play it over Wolf, but I'd rather just have Wolf, just in general. Um, if, if the, because there's just not that much direct, direct damage decks in the metagame right now. There's just not that much burn in the metagame. If there was, like, tons, tons of burn, like it was before, like before uh, Boom Crew Rookie got nerfed. You know, at the, in, when you're in that kind of metagame, then yeah, you're going to be playing Tavern Keepers because you're going to be facing burn a lot more. But it's just not not worth it with with where the metagame is right now. All right, but there we go. So that's Midrange Frostbite. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the lineup, uh, you know, seasonal tournament, anything like that. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.